Hello children, welcome back to your science class. In today's class, I will start a new chapter from your science book, chapter 6, Solids, Liquids and Gases. Today in this video, we are going to learn about matter and its state. Let's start with matter. Children, you see many things or substance around you which have some weight and which covers some space that all substances are matter. So matter is any substance that has mass and occupies space. All the substances you observe are not in the same form or in same state. Some of the substance you find in solid state, some of the substances you find in liquid state and some of the substances you observe around you are in gaseous state. And all the matter is made up of small particles called molecules. Molecules of matter are constantly moving. Depending upon the arrangement of molecules in matter, matter exists in three states, solids, liquids and gases. Look at this picture carefully. Here you will find all the three states of matter. In this picture, ice cream represents solid state, milk and water represents liquid state, air filled in balloon and the water vapor is representing the gaseous state. Now next question comes, what is matter made up of? Children, like a house is made up of bricks, matter is made up of atoms. We can say that atoms are the building blocks of all matter. These atoms are very small particle so cannot be seen with naked eyes. And when two or more atoms combine, they form a molecule. The molecules of different kinds of matter are packed in different ways. It is because of different packaging of molecules, the matter shows different properties. Let us learn more about the properties of different forms of matter. Let's start with solid. So the properties of solids are all the solids occupy space and have mass. Solid cannot flow. They have a definite volume. In solids, molecules are very tightly packed means they are very close to each other. They have no or very little space between them. That is why solids have a fixed shape. If you take a block of wood and you keep it in different containers, it retains its shape. Means it do not changes its shape when you keep it in different containers. So it means solids have a fixed shape. Some of the solids have some geometrical shape like hexagonal, tetrahedral. Such solids are called as crystal. So few examples of crystal are sugar crystal, diamond, salt, copper sulfate and potash alum. Block of wood, ice cube, sugar crystal and diamonds are examples of solid. Another state of matter is liquid. The properties of liquids are liquids also occupy space and have mass. In liquids, molecules are loosely packed, means there are some space between the molecules of liquids. Thus, molecule can move around and glide over each other in the space present to them. Hence, liquids do not have fixed shape. They take the shape of container in which they are kept. Unlike solids, liquid, unlike solids, liquids can flow like water. Liquids flow easily from a high level to a lower level as their molecules have space and can glide over each other. Last, liquids can dissolve many substances in them. For example, water is a liquid and water can dissolve many substances in it. Let's see few examples of liquids. This picture is showing milk, juice, oil and water. These all are examples of liquids. Another form of matter is gaseous. Let's discuss the property of gases. 
gases also occupy space and have mass like liquids gases can also flow they flow easily in all direction the arrangement of molecule in gases are the molecules are very loosely packed means in gases molecules are far apart from each other they are having maximum speed between their molecules hence gases do not have definite shape or fixed shape they don't even have the fixed volume means they don't have even definite volume they fill up all the space available to them we cannot see most of the gases like air air is an example of gases it is a mixture of gases you cannot see air but you only you can feel them most of the gases cannot be seen air is a mixture of gases it contains carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen many of the gases same as steam which is the vapor form of the water when you boil the water that vapor is formed that is called as a steam so steam oxygen and carbon dioxide are other example of gases the picture presenting here like first one air filled in the balloon is an example of gas air filled in the tire it is representing gas and the air filled in the football it is also an example of gases now let's discuss some of the property of liquids with an activity so activity first is to show that liquids do not have a fixed shape and take the shape of the container so for doing this activity you need the materials some liquid like water milk and juice some of the different containers like here i have represented this activity with beaker test tube jar or flask children in place of beaker test tube and jar you can even use glass cup bowl jugs means you have to use different container let's start this activity so firstly take some water in a test tube now note its shape now pour this water into the beaker again observe its shape now pour it into jar or a flask and observe its shape so children you saw that when water was filled in test tube it takes the shape of test tube when it is filled in beaker it takes the shape of beaker and when it is poured into the flask it takes the shape of the flask now repeat this process with the other liquids like milk and juice and observe the shapes in each case children you will observe that none of the liquid either it is water milk or juice they do not have a fixed shape they always take the shape of the container so the conclusion of this activity is liquids do not have a fixed shape they take the shape of container in which they are kept another activity is to show that liquid flows from a higher level to a lower level for doing this experiment you need a container filled with water means a big container that is filled with water you can even use a big jar or a big jug second one an empty container or even you can use a glass third you need a thin pipe now the procedure is that place both the containers on a table now take a big container full of water now keep some books under the container full of water as it is shown in the picture you have to keep some books under the big container which is filled with water so that it is as higher level than the another container now take a thin rubber pipe put one end of rubber pipe in the water means a big container filled with water put one end of rubber pipe now from the another end suck the pipe so that the air filled in that pipe is removed now quickly put that end into the empty container means another small container which you can use even a glass so children while sucking this air 
you have to be very careful so that you do not swallow any water okay now set this arrangement and wait for water to flow into empty container you will observe that water will start flowing from big container means high level to the lower level now reverse the process now suck the end of pipe in container kept at the lower level and put it back into the container so children you will observe that water is flowing into the empty container when it is kept at lower level the water does not flow from lower to higher level when you reverse the process so the conclusion from above experiment is liquids flow from higher level to a lower level children i hope you understood both the activity i would suggest you all try this activity at home now after discussing the properties of solids liquids and gases let's study the comparative study of solids liquids and gases so solids have a fixed shape means they have a definite shape but liquids do not have definite shape like water it takes the shape of container in which it is kept and gases also do not have definite shape second solids have a definite volume even liquids also have a definite volume but as gases molecules are far apart they do not have definite volume they fill all the space available to them third the arrangement of molecule so this is different in all three states in solids as you can see in the picture in solids molecules are very close to each other there is no or very little space so solids molecule are very closely packed just see the picture of liquids you can find some of the space between the molecules so in liquids molecules are loosely packed just look the picture of gases in gases molecule are having maximum space they are far apart from each other so gases molecules are very loosely packed children this was all about matter its state and the property of different state of matter hope you all understood this this is all for today thank you you all